When selecting a plastic material for a bearing and wear application, one extremely important physical property that engineers may not be aware of is the material's wear factor, or K factor. This property is usually not on a standard resin or plastic pellet data sheet. However, it can be found on stock shape material data sheets. This wear factor is a relative value which can be used to compare expected bearing performance of various thermoplastic materials. One of our manufacturing partners, the Mitsubishi Chemical Group, has a specific test method that they use to identify the wear factor for all their polymer materials. The materials are tested under the exact same conditions and performance is monitored. Knowing this wear factor allows our customers to have an expectation of bearing performance and provides a quick side-by-side -side comparison of one material versus another. The wear factor is generated using test method QTM 55010, which calls for a small bearing called a journal bearing to be run under a constant set of conditions for pressure, velocity, and time. The test calls for a bearing size of 0.65 inches outside diameter with an inside diameter of 0.516 inches and a length of 0.5 inches. The bearing is then placed into a housing and a steel shaft is positioned through the bearing and this setup is then exposed to a specific set of conditions. The defined conditions are a pressure of 42 pounds per square inch on the bearing with the shaft turning at a surface velocity of 118 feet per minute. And the bearing is exposed to these conditions for a total runtime duration of 200 continuous hours. And the test is run at a lab temperature of 73 degrees Fahrenheit and 50% relative humidity. After the 200 hours, or just over eight days of continuous running, the actual radial wear of the bearing ID is measured in inches. At the completion of the test, the following formula is then used to calculate the wear factor. The wear factor K is equal to the radial wear in inches divided by the pressure, velocity, and time. And since the pressure, velocity, and time are always the same, the amount of radial wear on the ID drives the K factor. The lower the wear, the lower the wear factor. Therefore, a material with a lower K factor will offer a longer bearing life, longer life in use, and more uptime. And the material K factors are relative. So a material with two times the wear factor versus another material exhibited two times more wear in this side-by-side -side bearing test. As an example, let's look at the wear factor for an unfilled nylon versus an oil-filled nylon. The self-lubricated oil-filled nylon has a K factor of 65 versus 100 for the unfilled nylon. So you can expect the lubricated nylon will outlast the virgin grade by almost 50% in a similar side-by-side -side wear application. For a second example, Virgin Peak has a wear factor of 375, while the self-lubricated bearing grade Peak has a wear factor of 100. This means the bearing grade peak outlasted the virgin grade by nearly four times. And what if we compared that oil-filled nylon to the bearing grade of peak? You guessed it, the nylon will actually outperform and outlast the peak since it has a lower K factor. Of course, keep in mind that this is based on room temperature performance. Peak, being a high temperature material, would of course outperform versus the nylon at higher temperatures. Finally, not all material data sheets identify the wear factor. However, for those that do, like the data sheets from Mitsubishi Chemical Group, this can be a great indicator of bearing performance. And Bedecker Plastics has the experience to help guide you on your selection for the best bearing and wear material for your application. If you need further clarification, about the K factor or any help calculating the pressure velocity condition of your bearing surface, or if you need help navigating the best polymer material for your application, simply reach out. We look forward to helping. Please feel free to add your comments below, like and share this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.